Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com with a quick tip. Now, before you go and use that brand new reloading die set or that brand new case gauge you just bought, there's something important you need to do, and that's to remove the factory preservative oil. That oil is there for a reason. It's to keep these parts from rusting and corroding on their way from the factory to your reloading bench. But before you go and use these tools, you need to remove that sticky residue. It could have dust cling to it, the tool needs to have that residue removed before it's going to work properly and optimally. Now I've done a few different things. I've tried a few different techniques, including an ultrasonic cleaner, which works great and is especially good for dyes that have a buildup of brass shavings and other residues in them, that kind of thing. But for brand new tools, like a case gauge or a die, the easiest way I've found is to get that trusty jar of peanut butter, empty it, clean it out, fill it up with mineral spirits or paint thinner, and wash your dyes or your case gauge. Let's see how easy this is. So I suggest you start by raiding your recycle bin. Find a clear plastic container. This is just a peanut butter jar. Fill it with mineral spirits or paint thinner. And for dyes, I like to disassemble them into kind of their major parts. The spindle for the decapper and the expander ball here, we can leave this all together. And you can optionally remove the lock ring. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just enables us to clean the threads a little bit better if screw threads are, are engaged in over threaded surfaces, it's just gonna kind of trap the oil a little bit. And this is a pretty simple process. I just kind of gently swirl the mineral spirits or paint thinner and then uh, just wait, let it soak for a while. After a few minutes of soaking, we remove the lid. I like to use long needle nose pliers to get the parts out gently, just very carefully. Don't want to scratch the surfaces. My hands dry out rather easily with paint thinner or, or mineral spirits, so I like to avoid submersing my fingers. Makes it a little bit cleaner of a job as well. Okay, I can already see the parts look a little bit uh, brighter and shinier. I'm just gonna wipe off the bulk residue of the paint thinner or mineral spirits, whatever it is that, uh, that we're using. Then we're gonna grab some compressed air. Okay, and then blow the parts off. I'm gonna spin the threads a little bit. Blow that out good. You'll see the surface of the parts look dry in appearance. Okay, that is about all we need to do. Now we're gonna let these parts air dry for just a few minutes. Once you're satisfied that the parts have dried, it's just time to reassemble. It's that simple. You'll notice things will spin a little bit easier. Everything's gonna be a little bit slicker without that gummy residue. Now we're dealing with fresh factory surfaces. And quick note, some parts that are bare, bare steel, like some of the Hornady lock and load press parts, for instance, the exterior, the powder measure, micrometer inserts, that kind of thing, do have a tendency to rust once you remove the factory preservative oil. And that's where you can use something like WD-40 or Ballastol and just apply that to a rag, wipe it on, or spray it if it's something like WD-40 and kind of daub off the, the residue so that it will form a protective coating on the outside, but not on the inside where we've got working surfaces and parts that need not be gummed up. It's that simple. Well, there you go. That's how I clean dyes. It's very simple and you can likely do it with things that you can find around the house. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of the action on ultimatereloader.com, we've got a lot of good stuff. Please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.